Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Technically, we can say that today, Team of the Season is kind of beginning because we have the beginning of the Team of the Season warm-up series. That's what we're expecting today on this game. Kind of like the pre-Team of the Season promo where it's all about stacking up packs and saving packs for Team of the Season. That's what today kind of signifies is like the official start date to save all of your packs or at least most of them until Team of the Season cards are unpacked. So, so with that being the case, there is a lot of content that we expect today and a lot of SBCs that have been really popular this past week that are actually refreshing today. I think that's going to impact the market. But with the team of the season hype really starting to build today with the warm-up series, is that really going to affect the market as well? Could we see some prices crashing even further this weekend? We'll talk about that today. And of course, we have to watch fodder because this might be the last chance to get in on some of that before it potentially goes up. So if you're excited for the video today, if you're excited for team of the season, drop a thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, let's take a look at what happened yesterday just really quickly because we actually had a W Thursday for once. It wasn't that insane of a Thursday, but we had a W Icon SBC in the name of Ashley Cole, Team of the Year Icon. The price here is, I think, pretty solid. Of course, his price on the market now is lower than the SBC cost, but that is because this SBC is such great value. He's dropped off a ton in the past couple of weeks. I think his SBC is coming in somewhere around, yeah, 330,000 coins. He was a 500,000 coin card just a couple weeks ago. One of the best, if not the best, English left back in the game. Even though Team of the Season is going to bring a lot of really good left backs, this guy, people say in game, is an absolute beast. So, this is something you can craft very easily during Team of the Season as well. It's out for 90 days, so it's out for a very long time. WSBC there. Some left, left backs on the market yesterday, specifically Premier League left backs, took a pretty big hit in price. Take a look at like guys like Zinchenko or Malik. Malasia. Zinchenko yesterday was 250,000 coins before the Ashley Cole SBC dropped. He is now 212k. It's looking like he's getting a bit rare and potentially going to rebound back up, but that is a very low price for a Zinchenko card that's down, you know, like we said, about 40,000 coins from where he was. Other left backs in the game have dropped off in value as well because people are doing that Ashley Cole SBC. Now, also, we had marquee matchups yesterday, and if you have not checked your club, maybe do so, or if you're opening Foot Champs Rewards today and you see yourself packing a Manchester City gold player, I would recommend selling that player Player almost immediately because these cards are selling instantly for 4.5k all Manchester City gold cards. I don't know about like the silvers and the bronzes. Looks like the silvers and the bronzes are selling selling for around there as well. But uh, if you pack like a rare gold Julian Alvarez or an Ake today, make sure you sell that for 4k because that has those prices rising up a lot on this market right now. So that was the content yesterday. And of course, we were hoping for maybe a loading screen or maybe some more news about warm up series. But EA wants us to be in the dark. I guess we're going to really see today all the news and information that we kind of know because of the leaks, but hopefully it makes a splash and maybe that's what EA was kind of wanting to do. Let this Trophy Titans promo fade out and then boom, bring the team in the season hype. Now, we talked about it a lot in yesterday's video, but let's kind of overview really quickly what is team of the season warm up series just so we kind of know what we're expecting today along with some of the additional leaks that we have, right? We're expecting an objective and SBC based promo that is going to give us a lot of packs. There's been a bunch more added to the code that we will be trying to get from SBCs and objectives that we can save them up and open them during team of the season. Uh, we have some leaks about the warm up cup, right? I'm very interested to see what that maybe will entail because we've coming off a really sweaty week of the trophy Titans cup. Uh, daily login stuff is uh, something we actually got another leak about yesterday. FIFA U team tweeted that the daily upgraded SBC, some sort of like daily SBC is coming in at this part of the um, warm up series promo. And if you complete all of them, you will receive a tots player. Kind of reminds me of like the the foot birthday objective that we had that was like the daily login where you would log in every single day and you would collect um it was like an 81 double pack every day some sort of player pick that you got but then you were kind of working down the line to get to like 12 logins so that you could get the pack at the very end which is like a guaranteed foot birthday player pack this kind of sounds like the same sort of thing now the only question and we were talking about this yesterday on the twitch live stream was how are they going to drop a team of the season player pack in the game and make it attainable in the short term while no team of the season cards are going to be in packs for at least another week? And, you know, all team of the season cards, by the time we get to the end of the leagues of team of the season, that's like five, six weeks away from now. 
So how long is this objective going to be? That's what I'm really curious to see how this daily upgraded, like guaranteed TOTS player SBC is going to work. I'm very curious to see how that pans out, but that pack is in the code. If you take a look here, you can see it is on the third page here. A TOTS player pack contains one team of the season player from any of the TOTS squad. So it might take us a while to get that, or maybe it's like a pack where it's like, hey, you can get this and you can redeem it, but maybe you just don't actually open it for now and maybe you save it for a little bit later and that's the option there i don't know but we did have some new packs that were added yesterday early in the day we had all of those 81 plus times 11 packs from the la liga premier league bundesliga last year these sbcs are what started to make the fodder prices rise on the market we're going to talk about that a bit more as well but that's what the beginning of this promo kind of signifies now the other question that we have is this is an sbc and objective based promo to save packs for a team of the season but with some of these other like encore packs that are added in here as you can see the premium encore pack 30 rare gold players 286 plus from honorable mentions future stars road to the finals a bunch of different promos that have recently been in fifa are those like a list of potential cards that ea maybe would be re-releasing back into packs today I mean, the potential is there, of course, for some sort of a re-release. Do I think there will be cards and packs today? I personally do not think there will be because, again, usually when we have these kind of warm-up series promos, it means that there's not going to be players in packs and that it's all about saving your packs for the next couple of weeks with Team of the Season. And that's the whole kind of vibe with it, right? So there is potential, I guess, for cards to be in packs today, some sort of best of re-release. But I think that potential is pretty slim. I think EA want the hype to be on what is upcoming, getting those SBCs and saving a lot of the packs. That's just my opinion. But with some of these packs, like we just looked at, these Encore packs in the store, it does kind of feel like, hey, maybe there is a little bit of a, you know, coordination here between what could be in released back in packs. But uh, I think these are honestly just store packs that EA is trying to put out for some cool and fun store packs uh, for people to try to open them for money, for them to try to get from FIFA point sales during this week where there might not be anything in packs. Also, watch out for this 86 double. This is an SBC last year we had during TOTS warm-up series that was like, uh, we could do it a couple different times. That was one of our like upgrade SBCs during the week. Uh, more Encore packs and then a rare silver five pack and a common gold six pack with the uh, league SBCs potentially refreshing soon. These might be great upgrade packs that could also be released that would make the menu grind super, super awesome. If you're, if you're going the BPM route with all that sort of stuff, that can make the menu grind really, really great. So those are all of the packs that have been added recently. There's a lot in there and there's probably going to be more guys because again, like we said, this whole promo is just about saving packs for team of the season. Now, also, we've been talking about this the last couple of days. Is this promo going to be one that makes the market crash? Because we talked about it, that warm-up series promos earlier on this year, twice in a row, have made the market really crash. And today is a day where I think there's going to be a lot of market movements, not just because of the team of the season warm-up series starting, but also because of some of the SBCs that are refreshing. Now, am I worried today about the market crashing? Like, a ton. Honestly, guys, I'm worried about some price drops, but I don't think we're going to see, like, a crazy, crazy market crash today, unless there's some wild content that is released that none of us were expecting, right? I think we've seen prices dropping off now for the greater time frame of like at least a month almost. Like if you go back on the graph, a lot of cards, I, mean, I know I'm using a live card as an example here, but Alexis Sanchez, little under a month ago, was 565,000 coins and his graph just keeps going down like this. A good example is probably Gold Mbappe. Gold Mbappe is 400,000 coins. He's actually up about 15 and 20K. But if you look at his graph, at the end of March, he was even dropping before that. But in the middle of the end of March, he was still a 600,000 coin card. And here we are at 400,000 coins, actually him being 390 even earlier in the week. I do believe prices will go lower throughout this weekend. I think it's going to be this weekend, a combination of the warm-up series promo, the content that is refreshing today, and just the hype for team this season, I think this might be our last panic window between today on Friday and between early next week as we maybe get a team of the season loading screen for some of your most meta cards that are out of packs that people will want to buy for their teams. Maybe a live card could be kind of thrown in there. I think that's going to be like the last opportunity to catch some panic selling, to buy a card for your team that you maybe want. Now, the only problem that I have with this market still is that 
Team of the years still seem pretty expensive to me, right? I know they are way down. I mean, Benzema 3.5 down here to 2.2. He's now back up to 2.4. If you see Benzema go back down to like 2.2 mil, you know, team of the season cards, yes, they're going to rival these team of the years most likely as some of the best cards in the game. But with the, where the power curve is at now, EA is going to have to put out some really, really big boosts for that to be the case. And, you know, some of these guys aren't going to be in the team of the seasons for a couple weeks down the line. Like La Liga team of the season isn't for a couple of weeks. So for a Benzema, maybe for a Jude Bellingham, if there's any panic on a really rare super meta card like this during the weekend, I would say that's the green light for maybe a buy for the team. Of course, probably not to hold for forever, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. And a lot of you guys have been asking, Nate, when should I buy cards for my team? I think we are entering with the Tots Warm Up Series promo starting between today on Friday and next Tuesday or Wednesday. I think that's going to be the low point. It's going to be different for every single card in, in different areas across the market. But I just want to put that out there. I know it's kind of a broad range, but you guys know which cards you're going for and which cards you maybe want for your team. So that is what I would say. I do think this content uh, upcoming will impact the market a bit because it'll get the real tots juices flowing, to be completely honest. So I'm looking at the market. I'm going to be watching card prices from some of the most recent promos, some of the icons, right? Trophy Titans, Foot Birthday icons, just meta cards across this game. I'm going to be keeping an eye on because I know that there's a lot of hype for some of these Trophy Titans that have just been released that are going to be going out of packs. I think they have good potential to rise, some of them at least, during um, team of the season or at least into the first week or two of team of the season. But, uh, you know, that's just kind of something I'm starting to plan out. And I'm not really going to invest a ton of coins for a market rise after TOT starts. I'm going to have my coins pretty liquid so that I can trade and stuff. But especially if you're trying to buy a team, I just want to spend some time talking about that because that is really good information to kind of think through. Now, today on Friday, also with the market movements, we've got a lot of content today. It's going to be a W content Friday as we check the sale. Who? Oh, uh, yeah. Tamori's 240 W. Bought those at 210 and 215. Nice market rises right now that we're seeing. But I think after content today, the kind of slow market rise that we've been having the past couple of days on some special cards might be going away because we have not one but two big SBCs refreshing today. The first of those two is the 87 plus FIFA World Cup or Fantasy Hero Player pick. This is refreshing today, but but more exciting, in my opinion, and probably for more people on the game, the 87 plus mixed campaign player pick SBC is going to refresh today as well. I know it's a lot cheaper. I know a lot more people like to do this. We did see the market drop off a little bit earlier on Wednesday when this player pick was dropped. So the combination of this dropping today, the 87 plus hero player pick refreshing today and the fact that it's team of the season warm-up series and the hype turning towards tots today i do expect to see prices on the market especially on cards that are around like 500,000 coins or maybe a little bit less falling today after content i think the market heading into content today might be a pretty healthy place to trade you might be able to find some really good deals there and uh and buy some cards to, to flip or maybe even sell a couple cards that you maybe want to get out before the content today but afterwards i think you will see some good good drop-offs because uh, there's going to be a lot of SBC content and of course the TOTS hype is going to be building. Now also with those SBCs there, we got to talk about SBC fodder. Now if you're invested, you're loving life because these cards just ever so slightly keep inching upwards, right? 85 rated, 9.7, 9.8K, they're going to be 10K today. They're going to keep going, right? 84s are approaching 4,000 coins. I'm going to maybe hop on some bids early today on Friday hoping that these cards won't go up too much. Uh, but honestly, guys, with not many people opening packs, because if there's going to be no special cards in packs, a lot of people are going to be saving packs. That's the whole premise of warm-up series anyway. So with not a lot of supply, but SBCs being released that we have to do to collect those packs, so there's demand, right? These prices really can only go one way unless EA do something crazy by putting tradable supply out and packs that people want to open or putting cards in packs, I do believe that fodder is just going to go straight up from here. I'm okay paying 3.8, 3.9K for 84s just because I feel like there is a potential for them to go above 5,000 coins in the coming week. They've done it a couple times already this year. 85s in the low 9K range, I know they're up. I'm going to do a club stock here tonight or tomorrow morning and stock my club and transfer list because I know we are going to need a lot of that middle to low tier fodder 
for the upcoming days in this game. Also take a look at 86s, 87s, and 88s because with those uh, player picks refreshing today, those are going to be in demand. People will still do some of those player picks today um, because they're going to you know, want to have some fun and want to gamble on FIFA, and that might be some of the most exciting content on the game today are these player picks refreshing. So fodder should be rising. If you're invested, enjoy the rise. Watch the prices go up. Use the fodder that you need and sell the stuff that you maybe don't. But that should be a, a big rise on the market starting today. I'm very interested to see how the market reacts today too on a lot of out-of-packs cards. I do plan on trading still today because people got to play weekend league, right? There are extra objectives. There are extra packs available for the weekend league still. And myself included, I'm motivated to play weekend league this weekend to try to get some of those packs. So continue to watch the market. There will be good opportunities to trade on this game today. Now, other stuff that is going on today on FIFA. First of all, this might happen before content. We've had a lot of crazy movements with some of these live cards, right? United yesterday with that game. Uh, unfortunately, Martial and Atal are no longer live. Their clubs were not able to make it throughout or past the current stage of the tournament. Martial, 800, 900,000 coins yesterday. 373,000 coins. Let's be honest. This is a pretty nice card for 300K. He's probably going to drop a bit more this morning, but then after that, maybe having a little bit of a rise because that is a very linkable card. Work rates are not good, but he's very good in game. I have tried him. So keep an eye out for that. That's a pretty low price there and just a card that I think a lot of people maybe want to try out now that it is super cheap. But for the other cards that are still live and getting upgrades, you today should see those upgrades. According to EA's website, today is an upgrade day and uh, they kind of set this out way ahead of time. Remember on the Road to the Final website, they said like, hey, we're going to be upgrading these cards on these specific dates and today I believe before content, or maybe they'll make it a part of content today, April 21st is going to be an upgrade day, as you can see here. So these players today will be getting a plus one overall and three new traits. This is not the weak foot upgrade, right? These guys advancing to the semifinals will be getting a plus one overall and three new traits. So again, you're looking at guys like the Lamella. You're looking at the Diaby card, right? Up the Leverkusen, absolutely cracked card that that's going to be. Barella is going to get a plus one today. Chiesa is going to get upgraded. Uh, Phillips is going to get upgraded. I'm trying to just quickly go through the list here of some of the ones that I see that are going to... Brahim Diaz's SBC is going to get upgraded today. So whatever live cards are do the upgrades, those should be coming early today. I think it will happen before content because that's how it has happened before. Watch for price fluctuations with these guys. And of course, it's not just plus ones like the fantasy cards. It's a plus one in form upgrade. So that means that some individual stats could be getting plus twos. Uh, usually for a plus one, they give two stats on the face of the card. They get plus two overall. So that is the nice thing about these road to the finals. Uh, continue to watch the fluctuations on guys like Atal, guys like Martial. Atal is 95K, man. That's that's a really cracked card for 95K, but still there's going to be some selling like we saw with Raspadori earlier in the week, right? He went really low. He kind of went back up a little bit, but then he also came back down after the game, right? He was like 48K in the morning, went down to 43. I could see guys like Martial, um, maybe uh, also a tall dropping down a little bit more this morning, but then right rising up later on as people see the price is like, man, that's still pretty cheap. So watch out for that today. And also yesterday, I want to bring some notice this because we were talking about this in a video a couple days ago, the whole injury thing with like the visual issue on the companion and the web apps saying that your players were injured. EA came out yesterday making a tweet, making a statement that said some player items can display with an incorrect injury status. It is a visual issue only. Great English here. Visual issue only. Visual issue only that has been added to the EAFC tracker. So they're looking into it. They're probably going to fix the bug, whatever it is. Um, and it's visual and is not at all affecting cards in the game. That is what we thought, but it's nice to confirm and it is nice to see that right there. Of course, if you don't believe that, you got your tinfoil hat on, then you maybe don't believe it. But that's kind of what I, I'll take that with what it is because, again, in the game, it does not show anything is wrong with the card. So to me, that's the way that it actually is. So I'm going to take the cash on some cards today, but also with the market, I think, um, you know, still going to have a little bit of panic inside of it this weekend. I, um, you know, I think I'll be trading. It's a really good time to trade. I'm going to sell the Goretzka that I bought for uh, the crazy snipe price 
of 300,000 coins. That's going to be a W profit flip right there. But I'm just kind of offloading these Goretzkas, bought them for 500K, except for that one, um, and then selling them for like 580. It's nice. Trophy Titans today, just a quick word for some of these. I do believe there's a chance that a couple of them could rise out of packs. If you remember, like Roberto Carlos and a couple of the other Trophy Titans had nice rises out of packs from Team 1. Team 2 today, I think there's potential for it. Again, but with the content refreshing and all that's going on today, I would be careful. I wouldn't put a ton of coins into it. I bought a couple of Blancs, one just to try out, but also because this guy is getting a lot of hype right now. Playing him as a center mid is actually really OP. He's a really, really good center mid. You wouldn't expect that, but he was really fun to use there. And that's kind of all the rage right now. A lot of people are talking about that. So watch out for your Trophy Titans again. Uh, they could be rising a little bit today. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun day, right? Honestly, with the beginning of the team of the season should be a pretty fun day today and uh, if you're playing weekend league good luck lots of weekend league objectives that are out there and uh, hopefully the cup that they drop is not as sweaty please not a sweaty cup we want something chill right so we can grind our SBC, spend a lot of coins to get our packs saved up for team of the season and then have a chill week of gameplay before it ever everything goes crazy for like the red rewards and maybe we'll learn some more about that today what foot champs rewards could look like inside of team of the season because we will be heading into uh hopefully a new season of rewards with that and the season ending this upcoming week. So there's a lot still to talk about and to learn, but we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. Also, if you missed it yesterday, we dropped a video talking about some of the ways to make coins during team of the season. Check that out right here. I'll put a link above. But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan with Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.